Uh, our team is named Robot uh, Democritus Industrial Robotics. Um, as I mentioned, we're new to the whole situation and the community. Um, actually, we started in uh, 2018. Uh, we had some um, some activities. Uh, we participated in, in several events, <clears throat> but this is our first first RoboCup competition, as mentioned. Um, currently, there involve 16 members in our team. Most of them uh, are new members, so they're in the process of uh, getting to know the platform, uh, the code, and generally the whole situation. We are all uh, students in the Polytechnic School of Xanthi from Democritus University of Thrace. We're in close collaboration with the Laboratory of Robotics and Automation, which is under the supervision of uh, our Professor Antonios Gastaratos, uh, as well as uh, under the supervision of Dr. Lucas Babis, uh, who supports us greatly uh, with their knowledge. So uh, let's go to our robot. I will present it uh, live uh, later. So I will mention some, some points uh, about it. So its name is Tetractis, from the, the Greek word Tetractis. Uh, actually, we, we innovated in the shape. We wanted to, to include uh, some innovation, uh, some ergonomy on the whole system um, to see it more like uh, a product, more marketing oriented, if you wish. So we, we did the research on the components we would use. Uh, we picked some uh, based on the cost, the efficiency, and other factors. Uh, actually, on some specific uh, components, uh, we did an uh, AHP uh, research. Um, so let's mention some of them. I believe the specifications uh, would be of interest. So, the robot manipula manipulator we use is a Widow Excel robot arm kit. We know uh, no other team uses it, so we wanted to see uh, how it performs in in such a situation. Um, the ladders we use are from SIC. They, it is a model Team Five Six One. Is it possible that your presentation is frozen? I just see the point 3D printed parts, just for be sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to be uh, as minimal as, as, as I could. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to... <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we use the Jetson ADX uh, Javier developer kit. Um, for the motion, we use Dynamixel M43W210. Uh, uh, um, I believe that um, that's all for now. That's all we could mention and would be of interest for, for you. Um, once again, I'd like to repeat that it is a three wheeled uh, platform. Um, we, we want to emphasize on the, the, ergonomic, uh, the ergonomic system. And as I mentioned, we want to, to, uh, to see it more like a product, how we could use it, how to, um, how it could be, um, passed in the market, and so on. So, uh, there's something about our software, our programming team. Of course, we have some sections, some main sections, uh, which are involved with navigation, 
uh, the vision for the object detection, the cavities and the stripes, um, the manipulation, uh, the use of the robot arm, and of course the task planning and state machine. What we'll try to demonstrate today is a navigation task. Um, we, will, we will present how such a platform, a three-wheeled three platform, uh, could navigate um, in the arena. We'll take a look at the object detection. Maybe that we will uh, leave it for tomorrow, but we will demonstrate things from the computer vision, uh, such as the, the cavities detection and the barriers. So, um, enough of the slides, I believe. Let's go and take a look, a look in our robot. So, as I mentioned, there are three wheels um, and three motors, of course. And we'll take a look at how how this uh, system uh, moves. And of course, sim uh, simultaneously, it will map the, the environment, the area. I'm not sure if I was clear enough, but it is totally of our, of our own uh, development. Um, we developed the whole design um, in a CAD uh, program. We picked the parts, uh, man manufactured it, and put it all together. That's the state we're in uh, for now. There's, so, already, there's already a laser scanner assembled in the uh, front part, isn't it? We, we use two LiDAR sensors. Okay. In front of uh, the two wheels. That's a major, a major part in the whole design because uh, due to the field of view it has, um, it minimizes the blind spots we have. There's just a, a really small blind spot in the, in the back uh, top and really close to the robot in front. Okay, I understand the position of the front laser scanner and the position of the a backwards oriented scanner where it's located can you probably point at it they're both in front they're both in front ah both in front okay i misunderstood your statement can you see it yep okay great you should find an opportunity to build some encapsulation um in a, during a robo cup many people Many people walking around, so I'm a little bit afraid about this very expensive devices, and we should. <laughs> yeah. Please believe That's me. That's a big issue. Yeah, it's That's necessary. That's a big issue. I know. To to find some cover, a kind of shelter, something like this. Based on the project plan we have, it's the next thing we will do uh, okay. regarding the the hardware yeah. development. So. Um, what else could we see? Um, this is the Widow Excel robot uh, arm, which, we, we, which is uh, integrated in the, the platform. If we could take a closer look to it. Right above the, the gripper, it's uh, the RealSense uh, camera placed, the depth camera. We're planning on uh, building a second floor um, to place the objects right in front, uh, right behind, I'm sorry. And above it, it will be a secondary camera, which will be responsible for the, the barriers detection. Is it possible to show a demonstration of its movement? Of course, of course. Um, could we make a, a small movement? Of course.
course, it does the, the mapping at the same time. It maps all place. For safety reasons, uh, we did make it go any faster. But we tested it and it can go. We haven't yet uh, put the, the batteries on it. It's uh, the next step. We prefer to to leave it for later. And what's the, what's the plan? How to localize? How to assemble the batteries? The upper part. Uh, the First, we'll, we'll make a cable management. So. All of this, all of this, you see, uh, it won't be there. So we can put all the batteries on it. I don't think I mentioned it, but we will use some uh, some Lion AHG2 batteries. Kein Problem. Jetzt ist es hier bei mir ist nur die Decke aus. Da ist jetzt gerade jemand zu hören, der, glaube ich, noch nicht zu hören sein sollte. Okay, cool. We are looking forward to see the next steps uh, with this interesting platform. Then we can show something, we can demonstrate about the computer vision, uh, what it can detect. Yep. I believe we have some time, uh, so we can do it now. Yeah, of course. So guys, I believe it's, uh, it's good with the navigation. We can go and test the, the vision both. So uh, we will reach the surface areas now. Uh, we'll need just a few seconds to to find the codes and demonstrate them. This is the map it made. So, if there's anything else uh, you'd like to mention, we can proceed with uh, cavity detection, the holes uh, for the objects. Um, we had some comments yesterday about the components we use and uh, specifically about the robot arm and the ladders and their position and orientation uh, on the robot. So I prepared a really brief uh, presentation to, to show you some things about them. So we use the Widow Excel robot arm. Um, the, the company does not sell this anymore. Uh, it has ceased the production, but it, there is a similar model, the Widow X, which has uh, similar specifications, but not exactly the same. This was the, the best solution for us 
based on the research we made um, with uh, factors like the payload, um, the total weight, and the servo motors, and of course the precision. So uh, these are the servo motors it uses. Just to to take a look. And compared to the Widow X, which is the most uh, usual, let's say, uh, the most common, uh, commonly used uh, robot arm, it, uh, it has some uh, statistics. Uh, there are some higher statistics uh, for, for the Widow XL. Let's say it's, it's a stronger one. Is there anything you'd like to ask about the, the arm? Or should they continue? What's the range of operations? This is interesting related to the fact that we have some mm -hmm. manipulation zone uh, directly on the ground. Uh, that was a major factor. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, I didn't think about it uh, earlier, so I did not include it in the presentation. I believe it is 50 to 55 uh, centimeters, okay. approximately. Um, generally, our platform is really low to the ground, so we have no issue reaching uh, items that are on the floor. The only uh, difficulty we may uh, uh, we may encounter is with the cells, with the objects that are on the cells. Um, and I'd like to ask you um, about the height of the cells. Is it about 40 centimeters or is it something lower or higher? I'm not sure about the specific configuration of the, the shelves. Um, I'm mm -hmm. not aware that we s defined a height of the upper level of the shelf. Probably we should include this in the rule book um, to give an, a trust for, for, for the participants. Okay, okay. Um, so I believe it is okay in our case, uh, based on the approximation we made about this height. Uh, what else? Degrees of freedom are five in this robot. And we, we plan on changing the gripper. Uh, we will use a uh, rubber to have a better uh, grasp. And of course, we placed the real sense camera on top of the end effector. I believe there's no 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 other question. So I'll tell uh, a few things about the sensors we use. Uh, they are from six from six sensor intelligence, the Team Five Six One model. Um, someone asked me yesterday about the field of view. How uh, how we detect objects uh, obstacles that are in the behind the, the robot. So I prepared uh, a sketch, let's say. So the triangle in the center is our robot. And the circles on the left and on the right are the field of view of the sensors. So as you can see, there's almost no blind spot in behind. And there's just a, a very small, like 10 centimeters blind spot in front of the, the robot. And the red rectangle is uh, for, the, for the size, for the limits. I guess many teams integrated additional sensors in the front of the robot for the shifting um, movement uh, close to a manipulation soon. Do you plan the same? 
we're planning on uh, placing a secondary camera on top, uh, which will basically be about the barriers, but it can take uh, uh, a look in front of the robot. So we, we have no issue about that. Okay. Okay, about the software we're using MCL and Hector Slam. I believe it's usual uh, and other teams use it too. And about the vision we use, again, like most of the teams, uh, RealSense for the object detection. Uh, we use the YOLO V3 version, the tiny one, I didn't mention it, uh, with the dark V3. And we achieved an I IOU of 79% and MAP of 98, approximately. This is a sample of our results. Um, let's mention that some of the objects are 3D printed, I don't know. Uh, I would like to ask you if you believe there's any issue about that. Uh, should we have different results if we make the actual components or not, the actual items? You mean related to the used objects? Uh, exactly. Uh, the, the usage of the object is a little difficult at the moment. Of course, we have an established set of manipulation objects in our league since four years, but some of them are very specific and highly motivated from the U-board. So it represents um, parts of the U-board and it was the original intention uh, to, mm -hmm. to, to allow a robot to build up a copy of itself, blah, 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 blah. Now the U-Board isn't in focus of our league anymore. And related to this fact, we have to think about the selection of our manipulation objects. For the next year, I guess we will not change this collection, but probably we should uh, some uh, concepts, what should be a part of the future. Okay, okay. So that's it. Uh, that's an image from the cavity detection we, we made. We use uh, common computer vision uh, functions, uh, the kind of detection. Then we find the contours and we do a four point transformation. And finally, we're able to detect the, the shapes we want. I would be very happy to discuss it in detail with everyone who would like to ask anything about that any moment. So that's all about the cavities. That's all about my presentation. Um, just let me ask real quick. Uh, guys, are we ready to demonstrate something uh, about the vision? Let's make the barrier detection. Just a second. Unfortunately, I can't find it. <coughs> okay, maybe we'll demonstrate another time. Sorry for that. Uh, so I want to keep waiting. Okay, so we close. 
your presentation at this point. Second. There's something about the barrier detection. Sorry for the delay. And this is the second one. So I believe that's all for now. Um, we demonstrated something about the movement and the navigation we did in the robot yesterday. So uh, I decided not to demonstrate this again, but if you'd like, we could repeat it in time. Okay, no, it's not necessary. Thank okay. you very much. Any, any questions? Thank you very much. Presentation. Yes, please.